Nighthawk Gold in the news today. Nighthawk trades as NHK on the Toronto Stock Exchange as their latest in metallurgy continues to show strong gold recoveries for Colomac. With me now, Dr. Mike Byron, CEO. Doc, appreciate the time and update as always here. Well, another batch of news here. I want you to run through the importance of this one. Yeah, the, our news release today there, Rob, was um, just on some uh, bottle roll and, and column tests. So these are the heat leach tests that we've done on, on four samples that were collected in 2018, we already put out the um, standard MET results for those, but the the, the heat the uh, column tests take much longer because they're in uh, the columns for several months to see how they leach. So, um, you know, we got a good response from from those. I mean, uh, it's typical that that we have such variability um, uh, given the nature of, of the rock um, and uh, and you know the, the the number of tests that we're doing. But uh, I've looked at a number of deposits, uh, similar cold weather or subarctic, if you will, heat leach deposits like the Fort Knox mine in Alaska that Kinross has, the Coffee Gold deposit that Gold Corp has in the Yukon, Eagle Gold that uh, Victoria Gold has in the Yukon, and even in the old uh, Brewery Creek mine that now Gold and Predator has. And that was a former, that's in the Yukon, that was a former historical producer. And I went back and looked at their preliminary met work and you see the same thing um, variability in in recoveries given that that you're not dealing with uh, predominantly an oxide rock right so it's not as porous so therefore uh, you're going to get the the variety so the way you address that just like any other statistical study more more you need a, a higher population a larger population so that you can you can derive at a conclusion so that's what we're gearing up for now is to continue to um, do more studies currently with um, the work that we've done plus the the samples that we're we're going to put out here shortly for 2019 sampling another four of them we'll have a total of of uh, uh, let's see 12 samples that we submitted to date and uh, you know we're getting we're getting closer to the to the number that we need in order to hand it off to the engineers and say look um, how does uh, heat leach uh, looking for something like Colmac is because I don't think you know I'm not going to say and, and tell our shareholders or tell the market that uh, this is going to be a heat leach operation. It's not, but it, but can there be sort of a side stream that helps us move rock at a at a, a lower cost or break even, if you will? And uh, if that is something going forward, then we want to find out. So as an explorationist, you're just trying to. To, to look at all potential possibilities, uh, scenarios, and uh, and get some information on it and see how it uh, uh, how things settle out in, in any future engineering studies. And operations pretty much still shut down there for uh, the COVID uh, situation. Well, like I said, we've we've um, uh, temporarily suspended our, our our exploration program in the Northwest Territories. We did so and shut the camp down April sixth. Uh, but having said that, we're we're queued up and ready to go. We have the money. We have uh, people all all set. As soon as we're it's safe to do so, we'll be back up there. And and uh, it might be a month from now, might be two months from now. But I, you know, we have four drills on site. So if we can get in there, uh, you know, July or even August, we're quite comfortable. We can get at least thirty thousand meters in. So we'll be able to do what we uh, intended to do in two thousand and twenty. Um, so, which was a 25 upwards of a 25,000 meter program. And in the past, we'd always upsized it, right? Uh, given the market was favorable and and, uh, and uh, you know the uh, the money was available to to expand our programs, and, and we were fortunate in the past couple of years to do so. But uh, even if that's not the case coming out of the COVID uh, era, uh, we still have the wherewithal to to get a, a decent number of meters in, like 25 to 30,000 meters. Okay, appreciate the update. Dr. Mike Byron, CEO, Nighthawk Gold, NHK, and Toronto Stock Exchange. Doc, appreciate that update, and uh, certainly look forward to checking back in when you have some more news report. Thanks, Rob. Pleasure.